Have a day everyone. Welcome to Chikarod. Caridad Sanchez's daughter shares heartbreaking revelation of actress dementia. A long goodbye. Kati Babaw, daughter of veteran actress Caridad Sanchez, waxes over this feeling after her recent revelation on social media that the beloved movie icon is going through the dementia dementia sanchez who turned 87 last august was first diagnosed in late 2015 according to babaw she remains physically strong there are good and bad days pero paulit ulit siya she related to abs-cbn news friday citing the pattern of forgetting and repeating herself. Anticipatory grief is how Babao calls her current emotion. It's a long goodbye. Over time, you slowly lose the person. You just prepare for it. The irony is not lost on Babao. An eminent grief counselor and educator who transformed the loss of her four-year-old son, Migi, in 1998 to heart disease into a lifelong service of easing the pain of other people who lost their loved ones. Babao has had her own realization, more than the fear and ignorance of other people on the issue. The moral thing to do, she says, is to speak about it to provide a light for others going through similar pain. Above all, she cites the importance of rising above the stigma of the disease. Why keep it a secret? Hindi naman nakakahiya if we can help others with the journey. I know there are other families going through it, but who won't speak about it? Kaya nga dapat may early detail, detection awareness and acceptance so we can arm ourselves with the right information and access to right medicines and care. I believe my mom will be happy too, knowing she was somehow able to help, she said. The stream of comments and reactions to her revelation has been overwhelming. Both heartbreaking and heartwarming, she told us. It took me a long time to write about considering the stature of my mom. But now that it's been public, it has been liberating. Babao had previously posted this on Instagram to acknowledge and honor her feelings. Short after her diagnosis, I picked up the book. Still Alice by Lisa Genova in an attempt to better understand what was to come. Tears stream down my cheeks as I read the last few paragraphs. You're so beautiful, said Alice. I'm afraid of looking at you and not knowing who you are. I think that even if you don't know who I am someday, you'll still know that I love you. What if I see you and I don't know that you're my daughter and I don't know that you love me? Then I'll tell you that I do and you'll believe me. And this is why I write. Today I was thinking how when my dad suddenly died at age 49 from a heart attack, I didn't get to have the chance to say goodbye to say all the things I wanted to tell him, to tell him what a great dad he was, and how grateful I was for everything that he took, he had told me, and done for me. I've done that countless times through the years, through my writing, in my head, and in prayer. So now, perhaps the father is giving me this chance for a long goodbye with my mom to say all the things I need to say to care for her and to love her. 
that thought somehow comforted me because throughout this long goodbye, though the time may come that she will no longer remember me, I hope she will continue to feel the care and the love. After all, the heart always knows and never forgets. Babo continues to document her mother's journey in hashtag Karin Chronicles hashtag the long goodbye. With October declared as National Mental Health Month, she continues work from home, conducting webinars on grief coaching and counseling. She also hosts her own YouTube show on Fridays, Conversations with Gabby. Hopefully, her long goodbye to Caridad Sanchez will be filled with unforgettable memories between mother and daughter. Thanks for watching. Keep safe, everyone. See you on my next chicken.